good too. Hope you're all doing really well. Here is Tuesday's English task for you. Hope you enjoy. Our starter for today is carrying on our learning from yesterday on bossy or imperative verbs. And those are verbs that tell you how to do something. And it turns a sentence from a statement, perhaps, into a command sentence. So they're verbs doing words that tell you how to do something. For example, sit or play. It's telling you how to do something. And a noun we know is usually a person, a place or a thing, something that often you can usually touch a noun. It's quite often an object or something you could touch. So we have got some words here and you need to sort them. You need to read the words and sort them as your starter, whether you think they are a bossy or an imperative verb or whether they are a noun. So let me just read the words to you. You have got the words bag, eat, breakfast, teeth, stir, wash, put and bowl. Those are the words that you have got. So I will pause the video here whilst you have a chance to decide where those words go, whether they are a bossy verb or a noun. Hopefully you had a chance to sort those words. Let's have a go at organising them now. So the first word, bag, that of course is a noun. It is an object. Eat is our next word. That is a bossy or an imperative verb. It's a verb that's telling you to do something. Today we are looking at instruction writing. We are in writing instructions. So we are going to go on to look at some of the features. As I said, we are looking at instruction writing today, how to write a set of instructions. So you might give instructions, it's telling somebody how to do something, and it might perhaps be something to do with a crafting activity, or it might be instructions like a recipe when you are telling somebody you're explaining how to do something. So here are some instructions and it says paper plate fish. So here is a set of instructions for how to make a paper plate fish. I am going to read the instructions to you and then I will explain what your first task is today. So it says you will need white paper plate or round white card, scissors, glue and colouring pens or pencils. At the top it says you will need. Then it says method. A method is another word for saying how you will do something. So there are some pictures here down the side and next to this picture it says number one. First, use a ruler and a pencil to draw a triangle on a paper plate. Two, next, carefully cut out a triangle with some scissors. So cut out a triangle with some scissors. Number three, after that, stick the triangle onto the edge of the plate using some glue to make a fish shape. So that's what it should look like now. Number four, then draw some wiggly scales and an eye on the fish neatly using a black felt tip pen. Five, finally, Decorate the rest of the fish with bright colours. That's your set of instructions there. I want you to have a look at that and just think. Can you see any features that you can spot in the instructions that help instructions to be clear? So, for example, do all of the instructions have time words? Do they have conjunctions do they have certain types of words think about the four groups of words we know nouns adjectives adverbs and verbs is there certain types of verbs there have they include anything down the side perhaps 
that makes it clearer or anything at the top. I will pause it now and think what things can you see that make the instructions very clear to read? So first of all, there is a title in instructions and it's important you have a title so that the person reading the instructions knows what they are making. If it was in a recipe book and you were looking for the recipe to make a chocolate cake, you would want to flick through the book and see the title so you know which recipe you have to follow. So the first thing you need for instructions is a title. The second thing you find in instructions is a you will need list. And that is really important because when you are writing instructions, you need to know what you're going to get ready. It would be frustrating if you got all the way down to instruction four and it said you needed colouring pencils, but in fact you didn't have them and you'd already done all of these steps. So the you will need list is a really good way to make sure you have everything ready before you bake something or before you're making something. So a title and the you will need list. The next thing that instructions have is numbers or bullet points. So you can see down the side here, there is one, two, three, four, five, or sometimes you might have bullet points, which is those little dots that you use to make a list. And the reason you have numbers is it breaks it up into nice clear steps rather than being one long piece of writing and then it makes it easier to follow and you can see where you get up to and you can make sure you do everything in the right order. So we have title, you will need list and numbers or bullet points. The next feature of instructional writing is time openers. So you will see here there is first, next, after that, then, and finally and the reason we have time openers is it tells you a little bit more instructions so this for example it tells you that's the first thing you need to do and finally at the end when you're reading it it tells you that you are on the last step so you might include some time openers in your work when you are writing instructions later in the week similar to these ones so we've got first next after that then and finally, next feature of our instructions are bossy verbs. We looked at these yesterday and at the start of our lesson. So the bossy verbs are the, or the imperative verbs, are the verbs that tell you that how you need to do something. So I've got use, so use a ruler, draw, cut, stick, draw, and decorate. So those are really important, the bossy verbs, because those imperative verbs are telling you the how you need to do something. The instructions would be useless if you just said first a ruler and then or first next carefully a triangle. It wouldn't tell you how you need to do each step. So that's a really important part. And the final part of our instructions that we have got here is adverbs. We looked at these again yesterday as well and they just add a little bit more detail to the instructions so it tells you how to do something. So for instance if we look at this one it says then draw some wiggly scales and an eye on the fish neatly. So that one tells you that when you're drawing the eye on you need to make sure you do it really neatly and it gives you just a little bit more information. But you now we have identified the key features of instructions, it's time to go on to your task today. And you are not writing instructions today, but you are being detectives and you are being detective spotters and you are looking for the key, all these key features that we have found in other sets of instructions. So you're going to be looking for the title, the you will need list, numbers or bullet points, time openers, bossy verbs and adverbs in different sets of instructions. So on the school website you can see here, so how to make a table football, how to make a snack bar, 
how to make a bird feeder and the final one is how to make a friendship bracelet. I want you to choose whichever set of instructions you like the look of the most and I want you to choose one of these and you are going to be reading it. I suggest that you read through the set of instructions first and then what I would like you to do is once you have read through it I would like you to get some colouring pencils and I would like you to colour or highlight when you spot any of these features here. You might choose to use the same colours that I've got here, so maybe perhaps the perhaps the title you might colour in yellow, the you will need list you might colour in blue, or if you wish to do your own colours and then label it with the features, that's absolutely fine. So I have of course chosen the tasty snack bar as my instructions that I'm going to look for the features in just because I think this looks delicious and this is the one that I want. So I'm just going to go through each feature one at a time and I'm going to highlight them as I go. So first of all I'm going to look for the title and I can see that the title to my instructions it's here at the top snack bar. So this is the yellow box here, so I'm going to go for a yellow highlight to show the title. Again, with yours, if you want to choose different colours, that's absolutely fine. If you do choose different colours, just right next to the colour, which feature it is. So, for example, if you did this in red, then just right next to it, title, and then I know that anything in red is your title. Next, you will need list, so that I'm going to highlight in blue. Have a look for my you will need list that is here at the top. So I'm going to highlight that in blue. You obviously will probably just do this with colouring pencils at home, so you could just neatly shade it in. Next feature is numbers or bullet points. So I can see that my numbers to the instructions are down the side here. So I'm going to highlight those in red. Next feature is time opener. So that is words like then, next, after that, finally. So I can see if I look through, I've coloured those in purple. So I've got first, then, next, now, then, and finally. Next, I have got my bossy verbs. So those are my imperative verbs, words such as mix, stir. Those are highlighted there in orange colour. So I've got pour, add, add, add. Add lots of add in this instructions, this recipe, because it's making something and we're often adding something to a bowl. Press, put and cut. So those are my bossy verbs and adverbs because I already had a similar colour. I've changed that to a green colour and my adverbs I've got carefully, thoroughly, well, because you're mixing it well, it's how you're mixing it, firmly and carefully. So I have highlighted all of the key features there. I have added this slide to the video today just because I thought when you are highlighting your work you might like to keep this page open and just pause it on this part of the video so that you can look at all the key features of instructions and all the things you are looking for in your work today. For today's task I would like everybody to start on the entry level today I would like you to highlight on the instructions the title, the bossy verbs, the you will need list and the numbers for the bullet points and if you wish to extend yourself further today then I would also like you to highlight the time openers and the adverbs. So just to recap on the school website there are four different sets of instructions and I want you to choose just one of them today. You only need to do this with one set of instructions and you have two choices. If you're able to print it, I would like you to print it off and highlight all of these features in different colours. So highlight the title in one colour, you will need this in another. If you are unable to print this today, that's absolutely fine. I would like you to just make a list. So on a piece of paper, write down title and then the title underneath title, you would write snack bar. And then bossy verbs. So underneath bossy verbs, you would then write pour, add, press and words that you can see that are bossy verbs. So either colouring or writing a list, either is absolutely fine.
that is your task for today. Make sure you send it in to us, take some photos, email it into the usual address, and then we will see you again for tomorrow's English task, carrying on with instructions. Goodbye, YouTube.